Balon Dafa is an advanced cultivation practice system created by Mr. Li Hongzhu. It originates from the Dafa, or Great Law, of Falun cultivation in the Buddha school. The cultivation in Falun Dafa is completely different from the traditional ways of Qigong cultivation, different from the practice theories of other schools of Qigong that cultivate a Dan, or energy cluster, in the body. Falun Dafa cultivates Zhen Shan Ren, truthfulness, compassion, forbearance, the ultimate characteristics of the universe. The Falun, or Law Wheel, of Falun Dafa is evolved according to the laws of motion of the universe. The rotation of the Falun is synchronized with the rotation of the cosmos. The Falun is a miniature of the universe and possesses the same characteristics as the universe. The principles of the Buddha school, the yin-yang of the Tao school, and everything in the ten-directional world are all reflected in the Falun. This is the unique feature of Falun Dafa that makes it different from any other cultivation system. The universe is rotating. The Milky Way and the nine planets are rotating as well. Falun is also rotating. When rotating clockwise, the Falun that Master has planted at the lower abdomen area automatically absorbs and transforms energy from the universe and helps a practitioner to practice. When rotating counterclockwise, the Falun emits energy. It can rectify one's abnormal conditions and offer salvation to all beings. This is called salvation for oneself and for others. The Falun is always rotating. Under all conditions, the Falun rotates according to its own laws of motion. This enables a practitioner to be in a state of practicing 24 hours a day. That is to say, even though a practitioner is not practicing all the time, the Falun is constantly cultivating him. This trait is called the practitioner not practicing the exercise, but Fa cultivating the practitioner. The Fa refining practitioners is one of the most outstanding characteristics of Falun Dafa. At the present time, among all of the cultivation systems within the country and overseas, only Falun Dafa has solved the problem of finding time for practice, work, and study. Practicing Falun Dafa enables a practitioner to ascend to his highest realm of cultivation through the assimilation to the universe. Exercise 1, Buddha Showing a Thousand Hands Buddha Showing a Thousand Hands is the first set of Falun Dafa exercises. The basis of this exercise is stretching to open up all of the energy channels. After practicing this exercise, beginners can quickly gain energy and experienced practitioners can quickly improve. Even from the very beginning, this exercise can enable practitioners to practice at a very high level and to have all of their energy channels open up very quickly. The movements of this exercise are quite simple. The great way as a rule is simple and easy to learn. Although the movements are simple, they control on the macro level many things evolved by the entire cultivation way. When learning and practicing Buddha showing a thousand hands, one's body will feel warm and will experience a unique sensation of there being a very strong energy field. This is caused by stretching and opening all the energy channels in the entire body. Its purpose is to break through areas where the energy is blocked, to enable energy to circulate freely and smoothly, and transfer the energy within the body under the skin. 
circulating it vigorously and to absorb a great amount of the energy from the universe. At the same time, it enables practitioners to very quickly enter the state of having a Qigong energy field. This exercise is practiced as the foundational exercise of Falun Dafa and is usually done first. It is one of the methods to strengthen cultivation practice. It is preferable to repeat it three times consecutively. Now let's watch Master Li teach Buddha showing a thousand hands. Preparation. Stand naturally with the feet shoulder width apart. Keep the whole body relaxed but not too loose. Bend both legs slightly. Keep the knees and the hips relaxed. Hold the lower jaw in slightly. The tip of the tongue touches the upper palate. Leave a little space between the teeth. Close the lips and gently shut the eyes. Maintain a serene expression on the face. Both hands are in the lotus palm and move to follow along the qi ji, or energy mechanisms. This preparation is the same for the other standing exercises. Jie yin. Raise both hands, keeping the palms facing up. The thumb tips slightly touch each other. Join the other four fingers and overlap them on top of each other. For males, the left hand is on top. For females, the right hand is on top, forming an oval shape that is held in the area of the lower abdomen. Keep both upper arms slightly forward with the elbows suspended so the underarms are open. During the exercises, the hands are no more than 10 centimeters or four inches from the body. Slowly raise the hands from the Jie Yin position. While raising the hands, gradually straighten both legs. When the hands reach the front of the head, separate them from the Jie Yin position and gradually begin to turn the palms upwards. When the hands are above the top of the head, the palms should face up. The fingers of both hands point to each other. At this time, push the head upwards and press the feet downwards and straighten the whole body. Press up hard with the base of both palms, straighten the body, and stretch for about two to three seconds. Then, release the whole body into a relaxed state. Turn both palms outwards until they reach the front sides of the head, flex the wrists, and move them down. When the hands reach the front of the chest, the palms will face the chest at a distance of about 10 centimeters or four inches. When they reach the lower abdomen area, turn the back of the hands to face each other. And then lift the hands up to the chest and press the hands together, or he shu. When doing he shu, the fingers and the base of the palms are pressed against each other. Hold the elbows up with the forearms forming a straight line. Separate the hands as if holding a ball and turn them in opposite directions. Males turn the left hand towards the chest. Females turn the right hand towards the chest so that the left hand is on top for the male and the right hand is on top for the female. Then extend the elbow and arm diagonally upwards. The palm faces down and is slightly higher than the head. For males, the right hand. For females, the left hand will still be at the chest with the palm facing up. When the arm is extended, Gradually straighten up the whole body. Push the head upward and press the feet downward. Stretch hard for about two to three seconds. Then, release the entire body. Move both hands to Hoshu in front of the chest. Once again, turn the hands as if holding a ball, this time with the male's right hand on top, female's left hand on top, and stretch. Move both hands to Hoshu in front of the chest. From Hoshu, extend both arms towards the sides of the body, forming a straight line with the shoulders. 
gradually straighten up the whole body. Push the head upwards and press both feet downwards. Stretch both arms for about two to three seconds. Release the entire body. Move the hands to Hoshu in front of the chest. While separating the hands, extend them down towards the lower front. Keeping the two arms parallel and straight, the angle between the arms and the body is about 30 degrees. Straighten up the whole body, push the head upwards and press the feet downwards. Stretch hard for about two to three seconds. Immediately release the whole body. Move the hands to Hoshu in front of the chest. While separating both hands from the Hoshu position, Move them diagonally to the sides of the body. Extend the arms, forming an angle of about 30 degrees with the body. At this point, push the head upwards and press the feet downwards. Stretch hard for about two to three seconds. Release the whole body. Move both hands to Hoshu in front of the chest. While separating the hands from the Hoshu position, extend them to the back of the body with both palms facing back. When the arms reach behind the body, straighten up the whole body. Push the head upwards and press the feet downwards. Stretch hard for about two to three seconds. Release the whole body. Move the hands to Hoshu in front of the chest. While separating the hands from the Hoshu position, push forwards with the palms. The fingers point up. The arms and shoulders are at the same level. When the arms are extended, push the head upwards and press the feet downwards. Stretch hard for about two to three seconds. Release the entire body. Move the hands to Hoshu in front of the chest. Slowly move the hands downwards, turning the palms towards the abdomen. When the hands reach the lower abdomen area, overlap the hands. For males, the left hand is inside. For females, the right hand is inside. The palm of one hand faces the back of the other. The distance between the hands and between the inner hand and the lower abdomen is about three centimeters or one inch. Overlap for a while, then jie yin. Exercise two. Follow in standing stance. Zheng Hui Zheng Li, Rong Xin Qing Ti, Zi Miao Si Wu, Fa Lun Chu Qi. Let's watch Master Li teach the exercise. Preparation can join the hands the same as before. Gradually raise the hands and separate them. When the hands are in front of the head, the palms are facing the face at the eyebrow level. The fingers of the two hands point to each other and the two arms form a circle. Relax the whole body. Fallen Standing Stance is the second set of Fallen Dafa exercises. It is a tranquil standing stance exercise composed of four wheel embracing movements. The movements of this exercise are quite simple. 
and each posture requires holding for quite a long time. Beginners may feel the two arms are very heavy and sore. After the practice, the whole body will feel relaxed, without feeling the kind of tiredness that comes from working out. Move both hands gradually downwards until they reach the lower abdomen area, keeping the circular shape of the hands unchanged. Keep the hands about 10 centimeters or 4 inches from the lower abdomen. Hold both elbows forwards, keeping the underarms open. The palms face upward, the fingers point to each other, and the two arms form a circle. Practitioners can feel fallen rotating between the arms when the time and the frequency of practice are increased. Frequent practice of the fallen standing stance exercise will enable the entire body to completely open up and enhance the energy potency. The fallen standing stance exercise is the complete overall cultivation practice method to increase wisdom, upgrade levels, and strengthen divine powers. Although the movements are simple, what it practices is all-inclusive. Slowly raise the hands, keeping the circular shape of the arms unchanged. When above the head, the fingers of both hands point to each other and the arms form a circle. Keep the shoulders, arms, elbows and wrists relaxed. When practicing the fallen standing stance exercise, do the movements naturally. Keep the posture unchanged, do not sway or even intentionally pursue swaying. From the position of holding a wheel above the head, slowly move the hands downward to the sides of the head. Keep the palms facing both ears, the forearms upright, and both shoulders relaxed. Each of the four fallen standing stance postures requires practicing for a long time. The longer the better. It differs from person to person depending on one's endurance. Slowly lower the arms and overlap the hands in front of the lower abdomen. Overlap for a while, then jie yin. Exercise 3, penetrating the two cosmic extremes. Penetrating the two cosmic extremes is the third set of Falun Dafa exercises. It is the practice of penetrating the cosmic energy and mixing it with the energy inside of one's body. The amount of energy involved is tremendous. It enables practitioners to expel the waste substances from inside to outside of the body within a very short time. Then, it brings in a great amount of cosmic energy to purify the body and to enter the state of pure white body sooner. At the same time, penetrating the two cosmic extremes can also open the channels on the top of the head and unblock the passages underneath the feet. Before doing the exercise, imagine yourself as two empty barrels, gigantic, standing up between heaven and earth. During the exercise, the energy inside the body moves to follow the hands up and down. When expelled out of the top of the head, the energy reaches directly to the upper cosmic extreme. When ejected from the bottom of the feet, the energy reaches directly to the lower cosmic extreme. 
Following the movements of the hands, the energy returns to the inside of the body from both extremes. After completing the single hand movement, perform the movement with both hands. Each up and down movement is counted as once. Do this nine times in total. After nine times, turn the following clockwise four times at the lower abdomen to spin the outside energy into the body. Jing Hua Ben Ti, Fa Kai Ding Di, Xing Si Yi Meng, Tong Tian Che Di. Now let's watch Master Li teach the exercise. Jie Yin. Ho Shu. Start the single hand movement up and down. Males will start with the left hand moving upward first. Females start with the right hand moving upward first. Slowly lift the hand passing along the front side of the face and extend beyond the top of the head. At the same time, slowly lower the right hand for males, the left hand for females. After reaching the upper and lower extremes, exchange the hand positions. During the movements, both palms face the body and are kept at a distance of about 10 centimeters or four inches. The hands move straight up and down, and each up and down movement is counted as one time. Repeat nine times in total. During the exercise, keep the whole body relaxed. At the ninth single hand movement, the left hand for males and the right hand for females stays up and waits while the other hand is lifted. That is, both hands are pointing upward. Then, move both hands downward at the same time. As the hands move, the palms face the body and are about 10 centimeters or 4 inches away from it. Each up and down movement is counted as one time. Repeat for a total of nine times. After the movement with both hands, move them downward past the face and over the chest until they reach the lower abdomen area. Viewed from the front, turn the following clockwise four times to spin the energy from the outside to the inside of the body. Turn the following with the left hand inside for males, the right hand inside for females, at a distance of about three centimeters or one inch between the hands and between the inner hand and the lower abdomen. While turning the following, Keep the movements of the two hands within the area of the lower abdomen. Jie Yin Exercise 4 Fallen Heavenly Circulation Fallen Heavenly Circulation is the fourth set of Fallen Dafa exercises. Practicing this exercise enables the energy of the human body to circulate over large areas, not in just one or several channels, but from the entire yin side to the yang side over and over again. This exercise is far beyond the ordinary practices of opening up the energy channels or the great and small heavenly circulations. Fallen Heavenly Circulation is an intermediate level exercise of Fallen Dafa. On the basis of the previous three sets of exercises, through practicing this exercise, the energy channels of the entire body 
including the great heavenly circulation, can be quickly opened from the top to the bottom, gradually connecting throughout the whole body. The most outstanding feature of this exercise is to use the rotation of the Falun to rectify all abnormal conditions of the human body so the energy of the whole body can circulate freely and smoothly. When this state is reached, one has achieved a very high level of cultivation in Triple World Fa. People well grounded in all virtues can enter cultivation practice in Da Fa, or the Great Law. At this time, their energy potency and supernatural capabilities will increase dramatically. The movements are gradual, slow, and smooth. Move both hands following along the Qi Ji, or energy mechanisms. Now let's watch Master Li teach the exercise. The preparation is the same as before. Jie Yin Separate the two hands from He Shu. Move them downward to the lower abdomen while turning both palms to face the body. Keep a distance between the hands and the body of about 10 centimeters or 4 inches. After passing the lower abdomen, extend the hands downwards between the legs. Move the palms downwards facing along the inner sides of the two legs. At the same time, bend at the waist and squat down. When the fingertips are close to the ground, slide the hands from the front of the feet over towards the back. At the outside of the heels, flex both wrists slightly and lift the hands up along the back of the legs while straightening the spine. When the hands cannot be lifted any higher, make hollow fists and pull them forward, passing through the underarms. Cross the two arms in front of the chest. There is no special requirement for which arm is above or which arm is below. It is the same for both males and females. Place the hands above the shoulders, but keep a space. Open the hollow fists and move both palms along the yang sides of the arms. When reaching the wrists, the centers of both palms face each other. The hands do not touch the body. Turn both palms as if holding a ball. That is to say, the outside hand becomes inside, the inside hand becomes outside. As both hands push along the insides of the lower and upper arms, raise them up and over the back of the head. The hands remain in a cross position and the fingertips point downwards. Separate the two hands and connect with the energy of the back. Then, let both hands move over the top of the head to the front of the chest. This is a heavenly circulation. Repeat for a total of nine times. Overlap the hands in front of the lower abdomen. Exercise 5. Strengthening Divine Power Strengthening Divine Power is the fifth set of Falun Dafa exercises. It is a tranquil cultivation exercise, a multi-purpose practice to strengthen divine power including supernatural capabilities and energy potency by turning the Falun using Buddha's hand gestures. Practicing this exercise requires sitting with the legs crossed. Double leg crossing is preferred, but single leg crossing is acceptable at the beginning. Eventually, it is required to sit with both legs crossed. In this exercise, the energy is relatively strong and the energy field around the body is quite large. The movements follow the energy mechanism planted by the master. When strengthening divine powers, the subconscious focuses slightly on both palms. The palms will feel warm, heavy, electric, and numb as if holding a weight. 
but do not pursue it intentionally, just let it happen naturally. The longer the legs are crossed, the better. It depends on one's endurance. The longer one sits, the faster the energy grows. When practicing a tranquil exercise, do not think of anything. There is no mind intent. Gradually enter into tranquility, then gradually enter into dim or deep tranquility. However, the main consciousness must be aware that one is practicing. Yo yi wu yi, ying sui ji qi, si kong fei kong, dong jing ru yi. Now let's watch Master Li teach the exercise. Preparation. Sit with the legs crossed. For the male, the left leg is inside and the right leg is outside. That is to say, lift the left leg up first, then lift the right leg. For females, it is opposite to the male. Keep the waist and neck upright. Draw the lower jaw in slightly. Gently shut both eyes and maintain a serene expression on the face. Jie Yin with both hands at the lower abdomen area and gradually enter into tranquility. From the Jian position, move the conjoined hands upwards. When the hands are above the head, release Jian and turn the palms up. Then separate the hands and turn them toward the sides until they are at the front sides of the head. Bring both hands down, holding both elbows inwards in front of the chest, with the palms facing upward and the fingertips pointing forward. Flex both wrists and cross them in front of the chest. For the male, the left hand travels outside, the right hand travels inside. For the female, the right hand travels outside, the left hand travels inside. After the hands cross, move the outside hand up to the shoulder, turning the wrist outward with the palm up and the fingertips pointing back. At the same time, turn the palm of the other hand downward while moving the arm down and forward. Then. Gradually turn the palm upwards. This hand should now be in front of the shin with the palm facing up. The upper hand now travels downward. At the same time, the palm of the lower hand turns inwards while traveling upwards, repeating the previous movements, only with the right and left hands switched. When the hands are crossing in front of the chest, the upper hand moves downwards on the inside until it reaches the front of the shin. At the same time, the lower hand moves upward on the outside to the shoulder. Then, the wrist turns outward with the palm up and the fingers pointing back. Flex both wrists and cross them in front of the chest with the palms facing in. For males, the right hand is inside. For females, the left hand is inside. After crossing them in front of the chest, turn the palm of the inside hand downward while moving the arm down until it is just above the shin. At the same time, Males move the left hand, females the right, up to the front of the shoulder. For males, the left hand should now be in front of your left shoulder. For females, the right hand should be in front of the right shoulder. When the hand reaches the shoulder, turn the palm face up with fingertips pointing forward. Then exchange the hand gestures. That is, repeat the previous movements with the opposite hands. When doing hand gestures, perform the movements continuously without stopping. Move the upper hand down along the inside with the palms facing the chest, while the lower hand moves upwards along the outside. When the forearms reach the chest, they should form a horizontal line. Separate the hands towards the sides and gradually turn the palms downward. Keep the hands at the level of the waist and the forearms and wrists at the same level. Relax both arms. This posture draws the energy from inside the body to the hands in order to strengthen divine powers. When strengthening, the palms will feel heavy, warm, electric, and numb as if holding a weight. 
but do not pursue it intentionally. Just let it happen naturally. The longer this position is held, the better, until one feels too tired to endure. Males, move the right hand downwards to the lower abdomen and the left hand upwards to the lower jaw. The right palm faces up. The left palm faces down so that the two palms face each other. For females, it is the opposite. The forearm at the chin is on the same level as the shoulders. This is also strengthening divine powers. The longer this position is held, the better, until one is too tired to endure. Then exchange positions. The upper hand draws a half circle in the front down to the lower abdomen area. Lift the lower hand upward while turning the palm to face downward. When it reaches the lower jaw, the arm is at the same level as the shoulder. Both palms face each other. This is also strengthening divine powers with just the hand positions reversed. The longer this position is held, the better, until one is too tired to endure. After the strengthening movements, the upper hand draws a half circle in the front, down to the lower abdomen, and both hands jie yin. Enter into the tranquil practice, then into deep tranquility, or ding. The longer one sits, the better. When practicing the tranquil exercise, there is no mind intent. However, the main consciousness must be aware that one is practicing a tranquil exercise. When the exercise is finished, move both hands to Ho Shu. Come out of Ding. Now let's start the five exercises from the beginning. Buddha showing a thousand hands. Conjoin the hands. Maitreya stretching his back. Stretch. Tathagata filling energy into the top of the head. Press the hands together. Turn the hands as if holding a ball. Point to heaven and earth. Stretch. Release. Press the hands together. Turn the hands as if holding a ball. Point to heaven and earth. Stretch. Release. Press the hands together. Golden monkey splitting its body. Stretch. Release. Press the hands together. Two dragons diving into the sea. Stretch. Release. Press the hands together. Bodhisattva placing hands on lotus. Stretch. Release. Press the hands together. Arhat carrying a mountain on his back. Stretch. Release. Press the hands together. Vajra toppling a mountain. Stretch. Release. Press the hands together. Overlap the hands in front of the lower abdomen. Conjoin the hands. Fallen standing stance. Conjoin the hands. Holding a wheel in front of the head.
holding a wheel in front of the lower abdomen. holding a wheel above the head. holding a wheel on both sides of the head. Overlap the hands in front of the lower abdomen. Conjoin the hands. penetrating the two cosmic extremes. Conjoin the hands. Males move the left hand upwards, females move the right hand upwards. Press the hands together. Up and down. 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 Move the other hand up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, 
down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Move both hands down. Rotate the following clockwise four times at the lower abdomen. And join the hands. Follow in heavenly circulation. And join the hands. Press the hands together. Follow the energy mechanism traveling downward. The second time, follow the energy mechanism traveling downward. The third time, follow the energy mechanism traveling downward. The fourth time, follow the energy mechanism traveling downward. The fifth time, follow the energy mechanism traveling downward. The sixth time, follow the energy mechanism traveling downward. The seventh time, follow the energy mechanism traveling downward. The eighth time, follow the energy mechanism traveling downward. The ninth time, follow the energy mechanism traveling downward. Overlap the hands in front of the lower abdomen.
Conjoin the hands. Strengthening divine power. Now let's start the practice. and join the hands. Start the tranquil meditation practice. As you see, this universe is moving. The Milky Way and all of the galaxies in the universe are in motion. The nine planets are revolving around the sun. The Earth itself is rotating. Think about it. Who has provided the force? Who has pushed it? No one. It just exists with this rotating mechanism. Our Falun also exists with this kind of rotating mechanism. That's just the way it is. So it can rotate automatically. What we practice is immense. It is based on the supreme cosmic quality, Zhen Shanren, truthfulness, compassion, forbearance, and on the evolutionary law of the universe. Falun is a miniature, the miniature of the universe. In addition, the most outstanding feature of our practice is that we do not cultivate or form an elixir. We cultivate a falun at the lower abdominal area. However, it will take a long time for you to form this falun on your own. According to the masters, it has taken countless generations to form it. In the lecture, I'll plant a falun on the students. I'll personally place it at their lower abdominal area. Once this falun is planted, it will constantly rotate. It can collect the energy from the universe on its own. When rotating inward clockwise, it collects energy from the universe and then transforms it to supply the energy needed for different parts of one's body. At the same time, it also reverses. When rotating counterclockwise, it releases waste substances formed from one's body, which are then dispersed once they come out. This energy field can reach very far, so all those around him will benefit. There's a saying in the Buddha school, rotating inward saves oneself, rotating outward saves others. Our Falun Gong, as I've said, solves the problem of having to practice for a long time, of having to extend the practice.